Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my shop mustache for the week. We're going to go through the products I chose last week, what I thought of them, and we'll be picking new products to use this week. How was your week? It was pretty good. I feel like the time is going by super fast. I've already been at my new job for three weeks. It's just been going by super fast. Like, it's really, really crazy. So, yeah, let me know anything new going on with you guys. I don't know. But let's go ahead and just jump right in. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I do upload these week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out. And let's just go ahead and jump right in. So the first product I had from last week is my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I just like this mist. Like the spray is just really nice and fine and really nice. It doesn't make my makeup long lasting, but it does melt the powders onto the skin. I think it's nice. It's good for hydrating the skin for sure. This foundation is one of my favorite in my collection, the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. I have the shade Light 70W. It's really nice, medium coverage. It looks like your skin, but better. I just really enjoy this foundation. Definitely would repurchase. Brows this week, I used the Precisely My Brow in the shade number five. I I really enjoy it. It's really good. And it's actually coming up on sale during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty still. So I'm kind of debating if I should pick some up. I think I still have two backups. So probably not. <laughs> and uh, the Gimme Brow is actually in my project pan. So I'll keep that in. This we will be uh, putting in, in the empties is the Essence Lashes of the Day Super Volume Mascara. Really nice mascara. The wand is nice. Um, it does a really good job to volumize and lengthen the lashes. I really enjoy it. Another mascara I did use, my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. I do like, but I don't think I would repurchase just because it's more for the lower lashes and not the top ones. So it doesn't do anything for my top lashes. Um, liners this week, I used these. The NYX Epic Ink Liner in Black. LA Girl, LA Colors, it's a lip liner, but I did use it in my waterline in the shade Cafe. It was pretty nice, actually. I like the color in the waterline. And then, um, the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Liner in the shade Fresh. Yeah, they all worked pretty well. For lipstick, I did use both. The Lucid Lip um, in Fantasize. It looks like orangey, kind of, in this, but it does have like a pink flip. Um, I, I thought it was cute on the lips. And then the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Chateau. It's my X formula. It was good as well. That was my ABH um, eyeshadow primer. It works super well. A little bit goes a long way for that. And then lastly was my Pixie glitter, which actually I don't think I used. So I'm going to leave it another week. Those are project pan items. Down here for concealer, I had my Tarte Shape Tape, one of my favorite concealers in my collection. Definitely. Always repurchase. NYX Pore Filler works super well for pores. Uh, milk makeup translucent light powder oh this is a blur and set in translucent light it's really nice it smooths the skin and it sets some really nice it sets the foundation really nicely i really like it and that's all for there down here for my eyeshadow palette i use the wilderness palette from beauty bay really beautiful palette i mostly stuck to the greens and the browns in here i did create a red look one day i did do a green look another day and I like the palette. It's really nice. Um, the mattes are more on the drier side, but overall, it's actually a really good palette, and I really enjoy the color story. Also, did use my Physicians Formula Butter Collection times Whaley Hang. I don't know. I really enjoy it. It's super pigmented, though, so you gotta go very light-handed. This is one of my little favorite go-to travel palettes in my collection every day. Uh, the Huda Beauty Medium Nude Palette. Looks like that. It's really nice everyday palette. And then the two highlighters I used from Novella Privilege and Amnesia were super nice. I like them a lot because they don't have glitter and they just look like they melt onto the skin. And then lastly, uh, Revolution Ultra Bronze Bronzer. This is really nice. It doesn't look like muddy or anything like that on the skin. It's really nice. I ended up getting this for free um through Poshmark it was new they sent it to me when I ordered something for free which is actually a really good gift I guess because I didn't buy it they sent it to me as a gift and I really enjoyed it so those are all the products in this week's shop my stash I'm going buy super fast um we are gonna go ahead and shop my stash but we're gonna pick a theme 
and go from there. This is products chopping block items. So I know I have a few palettes and that would be good actually because I have a couple of new palettes that I was thinking about using but um, I'm kind of not feeling them at the moment. So I think that is what we're going to do is just go through uh, products picking chopping block items. I know I wanted to declutter the blood sugar from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And I ended up keeping it still, debating whether to get rid of it or not, because I don't really reach for it. So, yeah, let's go ahead and shop my stash. So since I did mention the blood sugar, I might as well just pull it now. Um, I don't know whether to keep this or not. It's really nice, and I keep debating whether to declutter. I did want to declutter it when I did my eyeshadow palette declutter, but I actually really like it as well. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pick this. I actually really wanted a cool tone palette because I did a lot of warm tone looks this week. So I might just go ahead and pick a cool tone palette. doesn't necessarily mean that I want to declutter it, but at least this is for sure a chopping block item that I'm not sure if I want to keep or declutter. Um, I was actually kind of looking at the Blueberry Muffin palette here, and it has a lot of cool toned uh, shimmers and browns and stuff like that, so I definitely want to use this palette as well. This one's really great formula. The shimmers are super nice, even the mattes too, so we're going to go ahead and take both of those palettes for this week. And then up here, the only thing I really wanted kind of like on the chopping block, I feel like I can declutter more of my nudes. I just have a lot of them. Um, let's see. Mm. Oh, honestly, I was really thinking about declaring some of these nude cause lippies just because there's like so many in here. But um this one I was thinking of declaring. This one I've had for a while and I don't really use. And it looks like it's starting to separate. We'll have to smell this. But this is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Flying Horses. Still smells good. That's really pretty. Probably just adds shininess to the lips. And I think I'm going to take another gloss. I'm going to take this one too by Dose of Colors in the shade Jazzy. I don't know. At this point, I'm just kind of picking. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to like that. So let's put that on the lips and see if I want to keep that or not. It just looks glossy, but I'm just going to take glosses for this week. So up here, I don't know if I have, I think I have products I'm not sure about or what I think about them. Like this one, I keep using it, but I don't think I'd repurchase it was a gift through a makeup swap. Uh, this is the Revlon Photo Ready Prep Set and Refresh Mist. So we'll go ahead and take that. Products I'm not sure about over here. There's a couple of foundations that I'm just like, do I even like these? I don't even know. And I'm like, the one that came to the top of my head when I thought about like what foundation do I not, I'm not sure about is actually the Bite Beauty Change Maker Foundation. Like I honestly don't know what I think about this. So I want to definitely test it out. This is in the shade L45. I, I honestly don't know what I think about this foundation. So we'll use that and I was kind of thinking that I don't really know what I think about this one too the born this way the matte one because I know I don't like the um uh the regular one so it makes me too dewy but that'll be it from there this drawer I don't really have mascaras that I'm not sure about it was actually this one but now that it's been drying up a little bit I actually do enjoy it but I think I'm going to go with the Caution Extreme Lash just because it's newer. I think this is one of the newer mascaras that I pulled from my, um, what's it called, the backup drawer. Because I have a ton of mascaras lately. I've been getting sent in like subscription boxes. And this one I'm not sure if I like or not. So we will take that one. Eyebrows. I feel like I don't really like the feathery brow look. But I'm going to take the Urban Decay Brow Blade. I, I like that it has... A pencil side but it also has like a marker type and I don't know I don't think I'm a big fan of the marker type what do you guys think of the feather brows I think they look good on other people but on myself not so much oh Mac painterly paint pot for sure I was definitely thinking of decluttering I just feel like it's a little too drying we'll take that for primer so is it like pretty much sabotage yourself picking stuff that you don't really like <laughs> Products on the chopping block. Um, this one, the Julep Cushion Complexion. Yeah, 
let's take this one in the shade nude. I'm about halfway or so. The applicator's kind of weird. Well, it's it's a cushion applicator. I know without a corrector, it's not good for me. Uh, it's kind of medium coverage, so. Primer. I feel like I decluttered like products I wasn't sure about, or chopping block, you know? Like this one might be one actually. Let's take this Purely Silk Glow BB Base Primer. Again, I don't really know what I think about this, so we can take that for sure. Powder. Chopping block. Mm, I feel like a lot of the loose powders I pretty much like. But it's more of the pressed powders because I don't really use them. One that I am like don't see the hype on is this Pat McGrath one, but I don't think I'd even declutter it. Like I'd like to just finish it off because I feel like there's not that much product in here. This is the um, Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder in the shade Medium. I think I needed more of light or maybe translucent. I don't really see a big a big hype on this product. Do you guys? I have a loose setting powder to use that's in a project pen if I need a different powder. Bronzer. Chopping block. Hmm. I was thinking this one. Just because I've had it for a while. I don't really reach for it. Uh, take Home the Bronze by The Balm. This one will be the winner today. Blush. You know what I was thinking of decluttering? I've had these forever. Do you guys remember when Kathleen Lights wrote about these blushes here? The Burt's Bees? I've thought about decluttering these. So we're going to take both of them. I have Bare Peach and Toasted Cinnamon. I kind of want a pink blush, but I don't really have pink blushes. I meant like a, yeah, like a pink pink. I have a lot of nudie colors. Um, I'm just kind of looking at like this one or this one. Maybe we'll take this one. Too Faced, how deep is your love? Highlights. Hmm. Chopping block for sure. Where is it? This one. I'm like, do we really want it? The Essence Pure Nude. I always keep it. Because it's actually pretty. But do I need it? Not really. We're going to take it though. <laughs> and then. Let's. This one is too pink on me too. The Pure Times Barbie. But I like the packaging. It's too like dark. And I don't know. But we'll take this as well. I feel like we should pick one more. I thought of decluttering this one too just because it's been broken for a while. Unless I like dump that out. But I don't know if more will fall out. I could repress it but it's not going to be the same. So we'll, we'll take this one as well. Okay in here. The Kaja is not my favorite liner I do have. So we can take this one. And then I kind of regret, like, LA Color sent me a bunch of liners. I kind of regret, like, opening this one because in the waterline, you, it's all right. You know, like, it's okay. This is um, in the shade Mermaid Tail. I just don't use shimmers in my waterline, and I don't really do, like, shimmer liners either. As well as, I'm not a really big fan of this kind of color in eyeshadow. Do you guys wear this kind of color in eyeshadow? Liner's okay. That color's actually really pretty. But this color in general, like, it intimidates me as a color. I don't know. For the eyes. Anyways. Yeah. None in here. Nothing on the chopping block. And then over here, chopping block. Um... I have thought of decluttering this palette, to be honest, the MAC one. Star Dip Face Compact in Medium Deep, just because I feel like it's, it's pretty dark for me. But I think I'm going to get some use out of it for it this week.
one more. Oh, everything fits. So that is everything in this week's shop my stash. Hopefully I'm not sabotaging myself because I picked a lot of products I'm unsure about. I don't know. We'll go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.